Hi, I'm Emily and I am here with Maya Murphy's attorney, Lauren McDonald. Attorney McDonald practices at Maya Murphy's Westport, Connecticut office and is admitted to practice law in both Connecticut and New York. My question today for Attorney McDonald is, what are my child's legal rights when he or she is removed from class in New York or Connecticut? Hi, Emily. Thank you for that question. In Connecticut, removal is defined as an exclusion from a classroom for all or part of a single class period, given that such exclusion does not extend beyond 90 minutes. A teacher can remove a child from class if that student deliberately causes a serious disruption of the educational process within the classroom. If a teacher decides to proceed with this action of removal, he or she has to send the student to a designated area and immediately inform the principal of the student's name and the specifics of the incident. Generally, the school is not obligated to provide the student with an informal hearing before removal. Students, however, in Connecticut are entitled to an informal hearing if the teacher removes the student more than six times during the school year or twice a week, whichever comes first. In New York, a teacher has the power and authority to remove a disruptive student from the teacher's classroom consistent with discipline measures in the, in the code of conduct adopted by the local board of education. The school authorities of any school district must establish policies and procedures to ensure the provision of continued educational programming and activities for students removed from the classroom. Moreover, a student cannot be removed if doing so violates any state or federal law or regulation. If your child is removed from his or her classroom, the teacher must apprise both your child and the school principal of the reasons for the removal. If the teacher finds that your child's continued presence in the classroom does not pose a continuing danger to persons or property and does not present an ongoing threat of disruption to the academic process, the teacher must, prior to removing your child from the classroom, provide your child with an explanation of the basis for removal and allow the student to informally present the student's version of relevant events. In all other cases, the teacher must provide your child with an explanation of the basis for the removal and an informal opportunity to be heard within 24 hours of the student's removal. If your child has been removed from class for disruptive behavior or you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call and I'd be happy to discuss your matter with you. Attorney McDonald is available 24 seven and can be reached by calling 203-221-3100. You can also email Attorney McDonald at lmcdonald at mayalaw.com and please visit mayalaw.com for more information.